So uh, Jennifer, do you have uh, do you have anything more? Uh, um, Your Honor, a friend wanted me to ask you to explain what exactly a CEO does. <laughs> a CEO broadly? Yeah, just a CEO in general. Wow. I mean, um, from a uh, from a, from a perspective, kind of economic speak, a CEO is responsible for allocation of capital and human resources within an organization. So uh, his job is to figure out what is the optimal way to use the resources uh, of the organization to achieve the particular mission that the organization has. Um, and you know, if it's um, if it's, uh, I mean, think about think about uh, the CEO of, of Apple and the job uh, he has to he has to he's got he's got to decide uh, what to invest in. In, in, in the future, what kind of products are they gonna invest in? Not just tomorrow, not just what am I gonna launch next September, but he has to already have plans for what he's gonna launch in five years. Even though he probably doesn't have a clue what the technologies of five years are gonna be, he has to already be able to try to outline what the technologies might look like and what kind of products, and then allocate resources and both monetary resources, capital, and people to figuring out what they're going to do in five years, what's going to happen in four years, what's going to happen in three years, what's going to happen in two years, and how do I sustain what I'm selling right now? So you have to allocate resources to your Apple stores and to the whole supply chain that manufactures the products to get them into the stores. And he has to coordinate all of that, both what is going to happen in the future and what is happening right now. Now, he doesn't have to do every single step there, he has to pick the people who are going to do that. So he has to appoint the right kind of people to do it. But he is still the one at the end of the day responsible for deciding how much of the firm's capital, how much resources, how much energy, how much focus is going to be given to each one of these activities. So he's responsible for the entire division of labor and division of capital within an organization. And the, the bigger, more complex an organization, the tougher that is. And that's why... There are very few, very large corporations that succeed long term. Um, you know, if you want, you know, I, I would argue that one of the ways if you want to beat the market is bet against conglomerates because conglomerates are not sustainable long term. Now, what is the long term is, 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 is a hard point. But there are very few genius CEOs who can actually run a conglomerate, who can actually run a large business of any type. Um, and, and this is why they get so much money. They get so much money because very few people can do it. It's a matter of, of the, the, the amount of information that they have to integrate, the amount of knowledge that they have to have, and then just the, 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 the number of concrete decisions that they have to make given all this integrated knowledge. And they are both the internal face, and then there's a whole aspect of the external face of having to raise money, of having to deal with shareholders, of having to deal with bondholders, of having to deal with the press and politics. Today, you have to be a, politi a, a minor politician as a CEO because you have to go to Washington, you have to have dinner with Trump and you have to be nice and all, which I think is very hard and requires real genius. And, 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 and all, you know, so, so I can't think, I can't think of a more complex job than the CEO uh, of, a, of a large publicly traded uh, corporation today uh, in the world. Far, like it's, light years more complex than what a politician has to do, or what a president has to do, uh, far more complex than, than what a small business owner has to do. I mean, we, we, um, we venerate small business, but the real wonder in the world is, is the achievements of big business and, and because, because of the level of integration they have to deal with and, and the success. Uh, so when you see a successful CEO who's really, really good at what they do, Wow, that's like Michelangelo. I, I mean, it's 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 a level of genius that that very few people actually attain, and that's why this. By the way, CEOs of large businesses don't last on average more than I think five years is the number, or something like that. So they, they're this huge amount of turnover because they, they're very few of them are good. So the board kicks them up very quickly, right? And um, it's and it's also a very difficult life because of of the, the amount of work that one has to do, just the amount of energy one has to expend in order to do.